Hello, I'm Richard Clawson. I'm 37 years old. I've been flying for 20 years and been with Cathay for 10 years. I'm a senior first officer on the Airbus fleet and today you're going to follow me around and see what it's like to be an airline pilot. Generally, I'll, I'll wake up and start preparations about three hours before the flight, have a look on the computer system and um, download some information, some documents. Just make sure that I'm up to speed and prepared for the flight prior to even arriving at Cathay City. I always talk about the five P's, which is prior preparation prevents poor performance. Once the, the paperwork's been done, I will look at the weather for destination and determine what clothes to pack. But I always take my swimming costume with me. And that's something I like to do, train. Physical fitness is, um, is a, a strong mind as well. I'm on the Airbus A330 and the Airbus A340. Very modern aeroplane, state of the art, and fantastic safety systems. It's a joy to fly. Well, when I was a young boy, my father and I, we used to buy glue and paint model aeroplanes, and we used to try and make them look like the box. And my mom, she would buy aviation magazines. I would collect them, cut them out, and it was a fascination of mine, a hobby. She would also go with me to the general aviation fields, the small flying clubs, and we'd sit there for hours and, and watch aeroplanes take off and land, and we'd have breakfast there talking to the pilots. And one day, one of my dad's patients, he took me for a flight in one of his small aircraft. From that moment on, I was captivated. Two hours before departure time, it's a good time to head off to Cathay City. Let's go. I started off um, when I was young, I, my father bought me a ready control car and a friend of mine had a motorbike, a beautiful yellow motorbike. And I really wanted it but we couldn't afford it so I sold my model car and I bought his motorbike from him. And after, after maybe six months someone offered me some more money than I bought it for. So I thought this was clever, I can make some extra money and I started buying and selling motorbikes. That's how I ended up paying for my flight. You need to be determined and you've got to drive for perfection and, and everything always has to be done as well as you can do and you've got to be a bit of a go-getter in aviation. We can look on the computer and see who we're flying with. It's quite nice to be able to fly with the same person but that doesn't matter. If we fly with a new person it makes no difference because the way we trained is it's a standard operating procedure so everyone knows how to fly together. Now we're going to go through to the dispatch counter and meet the rest of the crew. Yeah. The gentlemen, yeah. if I may introduce you. Captain Evan Summerfield. Hi, Richard. How are you? Well, thank you. And uh, Dennis Chan. Hi, good morning. Nice to meet you. Dennis is the second officer for the flight, and Evan is the captain. He'll be taking us to Dubai today. There are a few reports we look at before a flight. One of them is the flight plan. We look at the weather. The weather is a vital part for the flight. It tells us about the departure weather, the arrival weather, and airport, which is an alternate weather. We always have an, an alternate as a backup in case we can't get in. Briefing is done. Time to go meet the cabin crew, get on the bus, and go out to the aircraft. Hi everyone, uh, my name is uh, Evan, this is uh, Richard, and Dennis. Uh, please remember, you are my eyes and ears down the back, so if there's anything today that you see you're not happy with, suspicious or at all, please don't hesitate. Contact the chief, or ring any of us up on the flight deck, and we will help you out. Thank you all very much, and let's have a good day. We've arrived at November 68, our bay. We're going to enter the flight deck, start our aircraft preparations, and the flight will begin shortly. My passion for flying covers almost every aspect of the job. I enjoy meeting new people, meeting the crew. Once you're on the flight deck, there's checklists to be done. We're talking to air traffic control. It's a very busy environment, and I like that. We're dealing with the cabin, we're dealing with the, the ground staff. And uh, once we get our takeoff clearance and we advance the thrust and we, we start to fly, that, that is when we become a pilot. That's my most enjoyable part. This aircraft has got multiple computers that protect us. We fly the aeroplane and the computers monitor what we're doing. It's got uh, systems that we cannot over exceed, bank angle, pitch angle, speed. And all the time while we are flying the aircraft, it's like Big Brother. It sits there and watches us and it makes sure we do the right thing at the right time. So it's a fantastic aeroplane when it comes to safety. The second officer, Dennis, what he will do on the flight deck is a security check. He'll look for any abnormal objects on the, or unusual objects on the flight deck. You'll look for emergency equipment in the correct position, stowed in the correct quantities. I'll put on my safety vest and I'll head outside, do a walk around. Yeah, 
fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. At, at CAFE, to deal with emergencies and failures, we always go into the simulator and we train continuously. So in the unlikely event that we do have one of these in flight, we've seen it, we've dealt with it, we can handle it in a calm and efficient manner. The passengers are on board, the checks have been done, we're about to close the flight deck door and say goodbye to you. I hope you've enjoyed the day of my life as a pilot and we hope to see you on board our aircraft in the future. Thank you.